What's going on guys? So about a year ago, I made a video explaining my little John boat setup and that video ended up getting about 175,000 views. I see a lot of the same questions asked over and over again in the comments section. So instead of trying to answer each one of those questions one by one, I figured it'd be easier just to make a video explaining some of the things that I might have missed on the first video. Now, one of the things that I have changed since I made my last video is the trailer. It had a little cheap trailer under it that had been under it since I bought it. And I kind of hated it. It was just flimsy. I pulled out one morning to go fishing. The leaf spring broke on it for the second time since I had had it. There was nothing I could do but turn around and drive it, pull it back home. I just drug it back home, actually, and just wadded the trailer up underneath of it. So I went and found this trailer later on that night. Uh, got the boat fitting on it pretty decent, put some guides on it, actually went fishing the next morning. But it's a good trailer. I just need to paint it. I never have painted it. I've done some welding on it and stuff and never have painted it since I got it. So as far as the actual boat itself, it's a Duracraft, 15 foot long, 42 inch bottom width. As you can see, I've got the float pods that I added on in the back. I see a lot of questions about these float pods, whether it be where I got them at or how I attached them to the boat. I'm not really sure on the brand. I'm thinking it was Beaver Tail, but I do remember talking to the guys on the phone and they actually built these specifically for this boat. I had to give them the specs and everything. And I actually TIG welded them on. They made a huge difference in the way the boat rides. It sets a lot, it sets a lot higher out of the water now. We fished a tournament last year. We had a 50 gallon live well in here with two adults and uh, we didn't have any problems at all. I've got an 18 horsepower Mercury. The boat runs about 23 mile an hour with just one person in it. Got the monster rod holders across the back. If any of you guys want to check those out, I'll put a link in the description on where you can get them at. Another question I see all the time is what material did I use for the floor and the front deck? Well, that's just half inch plywood, non-treated plywood. The bottom side of the plywood is coated in several coats of oil base paint. And the top side is primed and then coated with tough coat. I'll put a link in the description on where you can get the tough coat. Seems like a great product. This boat's been fished with hard for the past year, year and a half, however long it's been. And as you can see, it's still held up great. There's a few stains and stuff on it. Uh, it's going to get dirty, you know, it is a light color. The only problem I've had with is up here on the front. This is actually aluminum. You can see there's a seam right here. That's where it goes from plywood to aluminum. You can see there's lots of nicks where I had dropped my anchor right here. When I pull my anchor, I'll just slam it down and it'll nick it up. But you know, that's stuff like that's going to happen, you know, metal on metal. You can get several different colors of this stuff. It comes in different grades. I think there's like a, a smooth, a medium, and a coarse finish. It's just little rubber particles is what it is. I ended up having to put a couple screws I think I've got four screws in the floor because it kept warping and raising up on me. There is one and a half inch foam under the floor that the floor is resting on. Now the floor is actually right against the ribs, but in between each rib is a piece of one inch foam. A lot of people ask me about, you know, no flotation. Well, when I got this boat, it actually had zero flotation other than from here forward is foam filled. That's the only foam that was in it when I bought it. It had a bench. As you can see, it had a bench right here. You can see where it was at. But it did not have foam in it before I got the boat. Somebody had already took the foam out of them. The rear one also does not have foam. It's just used for storage. But we've got the foam in the nose, foam under the floor, and then we've got the float pods on the back. So with all those together, you know, I'm not sure if it would support the weight of the boat full of water or not. I hope I don't ever have to find out, but I didn't, I didn't ever remove any foam. It was like that when I got I've actually added foam to it. It's got one and a half inch foam under the floor from front to back now. A lot of people ask me if it was hard to cut this bench out. You know, how, how did I cut it out? So I could have took each rivet out individually and then, you know, put rivets back in it. But none of the rivets in here leaked. And I didn't really see a reason to mess with it. So what I did was I just came in here with a 90 degree grinder with a cutoff wheel on it and I just cut I just cut along the edge of the bench and then after I cut it off I took a flap disc on a grinder 
and just took the sharp edge off of it. And then of course I painted it. And that was probably one of the best things I've done on this build is get rid of that bench. And you know, I was worried that it would make the boat uh, kind of flimsy side to side without, cause that is a big part of the support in the John boat, but it actually didn't make any difference at all. I mean, you can't push in on the side at all. I think a lot to do with that is because I have a two by four going across right in front of where the bench was to start with. So I think it just kind of added the strength back, back in it. And I trimmed a lot of this stuff with some light gauge aluminum angle just to clean it up a little bit and protect the edges of the plywood, especially right here, stepping up and down would have, would have tore the edge of that plywood up pretty bad. So, and I've just, I just riveted that on straight into the wood. So by far the most common question I see is how did I build this little console? What's it made out of? Honestly, guys, that was probably the easiest thing that I've done on the whole boat. It's just half inch plywood. I basically just made a box. I put some wood glue on the, in the seams. I put some small tacks in it here and there to just pretty much hold it until the glue dried. I've got a couple stainless screws going through the gunnel down into it. I just slid it back under the gunnel and put some screws in it right there. I got a piece of aluminum at the angle at the bottom. That was the best way I could come up with to mount it on the bottom. You can see that I messed up and put screws right in the seams right here. And it, over time, it kind of spread it out. And I've been trying to remember to fix that, but I just haven't got to it yet. I think I actually made the sides out of a piece of cardboard first just to get the angle and everything right. But that was the, probably the easiest part of the whole build is building this little thing. It didn't take very long at all. I just put a couple cup holders in it, mounted my fish finders on it. You can see the piece of conduit right there going from the front to the back. That's how That holds all my wiring. That's all my wiring up inside of here. I've got a fuse box right here. I've also got a bus bar with all my connections and everything right there. And here's my switch panels. I've got one on top that I got off Amazon. Everybody asked me where I got this one. I actually just took a piece of scrap aluminum, cut it to kind of match the shape of the top one there. And I put a kill switch in it that I got off Amazon two push button switches that I got off Amazon. When I turn that switch off, it kills all my power to everything on the boat. Basically everything on this boat came from Amazon. I just got on Amazon and started ordering stuff. So if you're looking for any of this stuff, uh, you should be able to find it on Amazon. And this boat actually has more open floor space than my other boat does. It's just a comfortable boat to fish out of, especially one person. Two people's not bad, three's pretty crowded. So hopefully this video answers some questions that some of you guys might have had. We don't fish out of this boat as much as we used to, but I just hung on to it because it's so handy. I've had it since I was 17 years old, so I kind of hate to get rid of it. Hopefully you guys will go down and click subscribe so you can go along with me and my son on some of our fishing trips. We mostly catfish, but we do a lot of other things as well. If you haven't seen the other videos I've done on this boat, uh, I cover some more information that I didn't cover in this video, so you might want to go check that out. Thank you guys for watching. God bless you guys. We'll see you in the next one.